Grace and peace be with you from God our Father and our Lord Jesus Christ. Let us pray. O God of peace, you have taught us that in returning and rest we shall be saved, and quietness and confidence shall be our strength. By the might of your Spirit lift us, we pray, to your presence, where we may be still and know that you are God, through Jesus Christ our Lord, who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns, one God, forever and ever. Amen. We'll have the readings. Our first reading is from the book of Isaiah, chapter 53, verses 3 through 5. He was despised and rejected by others, a man of suffering and acquainted with infirmity, and as one from whom others hide their faces. He was despised, and we held him of no account. Surely he has borne our infirmities and carried our diseases, yet we accounted him stricken, struck down by God, and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions, crushed for our iniquities. Upon him was a punishment that made us whole, and by his bruises we are healed. The Word of the Lord. Second reading, 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verses 3-5. through five. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies and the God of all consolation, who consoles us in our affliction, so that we may be able to console those who are in any affliction with the consolation with which we ourselves are consoled by God. For just as the sufferings of Christ are abundant for us, so also our consolation is abundant through Christ. The Word of the Lord. The Gospel according to Mark. He called the twelve and began to send them out two by two and gave them authority over the unclean spirits. So they went out and proclaimed that all should repent. They cast out many demons and anointed with oil many who were sick and cured them. The Holy Gospel of our Lord. Let us stand before God, those for whom we offer our prayers. Lifting for healing. God the Father, your will for all people is health and salvation. God the Son, you came that we might have life and might have it more abundantly. God the Holy Spirit, you make our bodies the temple of your presence. Holy Trinity, one God, in you we live and move and have our being. Lord, grant your healing grace to all who are sick, injured, or disabled, that they may be made whole. Grant to all who seek your guidance, and to all who are lonely, anxious, or despondent, a knowledge of your will and an awareness of your presence. Mend broken relationships and restore those in emotional distress to soundness of mind and serenity of spirit. Bless physicians, nurses, and all others who minister to the suffering, granting them wisdom and skill, sympathy and patience. Grant to the dying peace and a holy death, and uphold by the grace and consolation of your Holy Spirit those who are bereaved. Restore to wholeness whatever is broken by human sin in our lives, in our nation, and in the world. You are the Lord who does wonders, you have declared your power among the peoples. With you, O Lord, is the well of life, and in your light we see light. Hear us, O Lord of life. Heal us and make us whole. Let us pray. Almighty God, giver of life and health, send your blessing on all who are sick and upon those who minister to them, that all weakness may be vanquished by the triumph of the risen Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. 
Let us confess our sins. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry, and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. May Almighty God have mercy upon us. Forgive us our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness and by the power of the Holy Spirit. Keep us unto everlasting life. Amen. The Almighty Lord, who is a strong tower to all who put their trust in Him, to whom all things in heaven and earth bow and obey, be now and evermore your defense. And make us know and feel that the only name under heaven given for health and salvation is the name of our Lord, Jesus Christ. Amen. Let us say together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be always with you. Let us bless the Lord.